Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to OUE. Um, sad news for you a couple of days ago, wasn't it? What's sad news? When the LA Charles came out and said, yeah, we done with Philip." Shit, it was sad news for me because I've been done with Philip for t- about two years. This was Joe Namath. <laughs> when they had Joe Namath, you, you retired. I retired in this year, but I, my leads retired two years already. Yeah, and this is what I feel about Philip. Like, um, like this past season, man, the talent that the Chargers had surrounding Philip Rivers was on par for them to be a Super Bowl caliber team. But the reason why they didn't get there, though, is because Philip had one of the most, you know, terrible seasons I've seen him have. He was forcing things. Um, he wasn't calling the audibles, picking up blitzes. Like. He was bad. He was really, really bad this year. He looked at like it was he was done, and I hate. And you know, I was a little bit delusional about it in the early beginning of the season. People were pointing this out, like, "Yo, man, Philip is playing terrible." And I'm like, "No, nah, it ain't Philip. It, it, it's we we didn't have God, God." Because uh, then this, this, say it, it, you... it, as it went on, he was like, "Man, no, nah, man, my boy didn't fell out. No, nah, Phil, <laughs> Phil, really." Feel it, feel it really playing poorly out here, man. And then when I was finna ask you, like, yo, did you think, like, that hit bad play a trip? It happened because of Melvin Gordon winning there? No, because. For, like, you, the first eight games? I think, yeah, first no, eight games. No, no, no. Because the other guys was doing their job. Uh, uh Eric and, and Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. They were playing well. It was just Phillip. Like, <clears throat> see, this is the thing. Um,. With the Chargers. For the last three, four seasons, I felt the Chargers had a Super Bowl caliber team. But the they always had was, offensive line injuries. Yeah, they had offensive line problems. And see, when you have offensive line problems and you know that, then you try to fix it. But then when you bring in those new guys and they still don't work out, or when you bring them in, the guys get hurt. This is what happened to the Chargers. Like, their offensive line was mateship. They was out there doing so many different combinations, and Phil never got a feel for that offensive line. And then he would just force balls, and you kind of knew. Like, hey, Phil going to throw a bad pick. <laughs> you just knew it. You knew it was going to happen because he always been this way. When talent around him is good, then he is good. But when the talent around him... It's not perfect or on par. Philip will try to force things. And he'll overcompensate and he'll throw bad interceptions. And that's what we saw happen this season. And I think that the Chargers just feel like, no, we 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 kind of in a good spot here to let him go because we got a credible backup and Tyrod Taylor, so we can take one of these rookie quarterbacks out of the draft, put him on a bench for a year or so. And then bring that person in and move away from Philip Rivers. So they easily, and then I always felt like, and it was problems to begin with. I don't know if you remember um, when Philip, when they first started saying they was going to move to LA, Philip was talking about retirement then. Mm-hmm. He was like, ah, I may retire. I really don't want to move to Los Angeles. But then Philip did something probably about a month or two ago. And that's when I knew, like, no. Nah. Somebody Florida move? Yeah, when he moved yeah. to Florida. And it was like, cause he was. And I thought that was weird because, like you said, he was like, yo, I don't want to leave San Diego. Yeah. But he I was. He going to take that trip down to Florida. But And they asked him about it a couple of days ago. Like, why did you move to Florida? And he said, well, my career is winding down. So I wanted to move close to home. So me and my, I moved my family to Florida because that's where he kind of like wants to be. Oh, and no I was like, from. yeah, but I think th- this is this is the end. And so when the reports came out that um, the Chargers had moved on, I was like, I think it was Jay Glazer who reported it. Mm-hmm. I wasn't shocked by it at all. And I said, because of who they back up is, then they got Tom Brady out there, and they're going to try to make a run at him. And if they miss, they ain't going to be too sad about it if they miss because they still got Tyrod and let him play full season. Out there. Uh-huh. 
And then you got Teddy out nah, there. No, they ain't gonna get Teddy. You know they ain't gonna try. Nah, I don't think they're gonna get Teddy. Nah, but they I'm gonna just go throwing in the it draft out there. And, and and see the thing is about the Chargers team is that the Chargers are high pick, and then on top of that, the Chargers have their team is stacked with talent, offense, defense. So they are a team who can package up, come up with a package, and move up in the draft and I, I take one of the quarterbacks if they really, really like them. Like, because I had been seeing people say that Justin Herbert from Oregon would possibly be the pick. And I don't watch Oregon that much, but I watched him a little. I watched him every now and then. Then I watched him in the singing bowl. I was like, yeah, if they can – Keep the money that they possibly would have gave to Philip Rivers. Give Melvin going the contract. Bring him back with um uh, because that dude can run. Justin Hubbard, he can run. He's pretty good at running and throwing out. Like yeah, that'd be one hell of a dynamic offense. And I don't know about one one did well, one. I, ha- I know, I know, I hate running quarterbacks. <laughs> so you put him with Melvin Gordon, Austin yeah, Eckler. Yeah, you gotta remember, you think the Chargers are gonna pay Melvin Gordon? I said I don't know. I was seeing that, that cause that's the thing I seen other people. I think it was um uh, on high noon. They were like, yeah, they might let Philip go out there and test the market and whatnot, see if he gets something. If he don't, they might bring him back for something a little bit lesser. And then I was like, is that possibly one of the problems? Cause they didn't know whether they were gonna bring back Philip or not. And that yeah, because obviously if you bring back Philip for two, three more years. Contract probably gonna be big because he's quarterback. They, they ain't finna do that though, man. They ain't finna do that. It's the end for Philip. No, I was no, I was because you even brought a Melvin going Melvin thing. That's why I, I said that because I was like, yo, those two dudes are probably gonna have a big contract. And now if you say no, we just not gonna pay Philip. Now they could probably say we ain't gonna pay Melvin either. But I'm saying now maybe. You have a little bit more, like now you ain't gonna give him a big contract, but you give him a nice little contract, and he'd be like, "All right, mm-hmm. boy, they just saying nah, we no, just, we re, we redoing this whole yeah, you except gonna, for the wide receivers, we yeah, because we were doing the whole like, thing. If you moving right, only way I say you you try to say I'm Melvin Gordon back is if you get Tom Brady, right? If you get Tom Brady, then okay, you back in win mode next season. But if you went, oh, you been here like in like not so much rebuilding. Yeah, but I'm saying but transition. Yeah, they transitioning. If they move from Phillip and go to Tyrod and then draft a rookie quarterback, then the aspiration is not a Super Bowl victory. But if you get Tom Brady, then it's Super Bowl. Yeah. So that's when you look to bring back a Melvin Gordon. But because they're not, um, not gonna bring him back. Bring, they're not bringing Phillip back Then If you're not getting Tom Brady Then you might well let Gordon walk as well Didn't think of that That way But uh, Yeah I, I can see that I can agree with that Cause yeah, But I guess I was thinking Because like I said I watched the dude Well Also we don't really know Who the Chargers would pick With what they what They got six picks in the draft Something like that Yeah Something like that yeah, well, damn! I was, I was like, so I don't know. So we will have, we will have to wait and see, obviously. But yeah, um, uh, also news had hit today. I think it was today, because in doing the um, Pro Bowl weekend, they was like, yeah, Drew Brees was talking about contemplating retirement. And I said, it's funny because Drew Brees was one of them people out here like Tom Brady. Tell me, yeah, I could play them forty five. Tell me forty one, and like, yeah, you know what? I might retire. Not knowing that, but I guess I was wondering that, like, yo, what made him change now? Like, no, it was because the Saints were talking about, yeah, we're going to move on from him from 2021. Yeah, but you can see also that and then the toll. The toll. A plan uh, and. Not this plan, the last three. Three, four playoff losses that Drew Brees uh, ever had yeah. have been good for too. them as a fan base and an organization. Like, it was just bad calls that robbed him. And so Drew Brees is getting older. And then, again, you have to look at sacrifice. The guys playing football, they're sacrificing, you know, time with their wives and with their children. And 
as guys get older, things change. They start thinking, you know what, man, man, I want to go home and be a family man. I want to go home and be with my children. And then on top of that, the organization. They look at Drew Brees, and they saying, hey, he doesn't have the arm strength anymore. Because, you know, that playoff game, people blame him for the loss. Yeah, do no offense. Say that they were like, the thing that I had saw on them, they were, they were like, yeah, there's some people out here who said it. If they would have played Tyson Hill a little bit more in that, um, I think it was playoff. I forget who they played in the playoff. Who was it? The Vikings? Yeah, yeah what the Vikings. They, yeah, they would have played him more than they would have won. And I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. So y'all blaming Drew Brees for that. Yeah, and, but to see the thing And then is, also, you Vikings. think about what Teddy came in. Yeah, he played. they were rolling. They won like five or six great yeah. games with Teddy. Because yeah, I was so. expecting them to fall off a cliff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, so yeah. A lot of the quarterbacks, man. Phillip Rivers, uh, Eli Manning. Uh, we're going to see what Ben Rossenberger looked like coming back. But they said that they want him to come back. Of they, they didn't got nothing on him. <laughs> he ain't got to say it like that. No, it's the truth. <laughs> but, and then you really don't know what's going to happen with Brady. But, like, Pittsburgh, you read it like this. Like, the only quarterback you like, yeah. Because he came back and said he was coming back. So, they like, yeah, okay. We see with Mason Rudolph, Ducky, and they traded away. Uh, did they trade away? Or they just let him go. Joshua, is it Joshua Dobbs? Hobbs? They wanna. Well, he they let him go, so it didn't matter. But anyway, yeah, like it's gonna be a different um what season coming up next year with a lot of quarterbacks not being star quarterback. Maybe they retire. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just on a different team. So yeah, crazy. Hit that like button, people. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment. Share. Let us know. And for them Charger fan, are you sad? Are you happy like my brother? That Phillip is gone. For the New Orleans Saints fans, y'all just sad. You ain't got to tell me. I know. you sad. For three years now, you sad. Stay my, that way. Yeah, see? I was just finna say, he happy for the happy that you sad. He hear a lot of Falcon fans. He can't even help but... Even though he had a bad season, he happy that y'all had a bad season. Yep. <laughs> that wrong. All right, people. See y'all next time in the next episode. Peace.